The single most common question that patients ask is why did it happen? Unfortunately, we don't have a good answer to it. Cancer is what I often think about as a perfect storm. It's often a confluence of multiple different things. Some things we have no control over, some things we may have control over, but we don't necessarily realize it. So the genetic factors um, do play a role in myeloma as it does with other cancers. We know that family, first degree family relatives have an increased risk, suggesting that there's a genetic component to it. Um, we have identified some genetic variations of polymorphisms that can increase the risk of someone getting myeloma related disorders. So that's the genetic component of it. The second is the environmental impact. We know that individuals growing up in farming communities, agricultural communities where they're exposed to pesticides have a higher risk. We know that individuals who were first responders in 9-11, for example, have an increased risk. So clearly there is an environmental component. It could be chemicals, it could be radiation, it could be a variety of different things that could be contributing to it. And there may be other lifestyle factors. Uh, we know that obesity is associated with an increased risk of progression from August to uh, myeloma. So there are probably elements uh, in the environment, as well as genetic, that not only increases the risk of somebody actually getting that early lesion of monoclonal gammopathy and there's also environmental and genetic components that accelerate the process of transitioning from that early stage to advanced myeloma.